That is right, today ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be playing the PlayStation 4 on my iPhone. I know it sounds crazy, but it's official, it is real. PlayStation have recently released an app that allows you on iOS devices with an updated PlayStation and an updated iPhone or iPad to actually play your full-on PlayStation 4 on mobile devices. In the past, PlayStation's actually had a lot of very cool features. You could actually stream your PlayStation 4 to your PlayStation Vita, which I think I did for a COD Ghost video like five years ago, something ridiculous. You can actually play your PlayStation remotely on your PC as well, which I sometimes do if I'm away, but I don't really use the features too much prior to the release of what I'm about to show you now, which is super easy to set up, so simple, and the technology is just mind-blowing. So I've got this remote camera here, just to prove that there's no witchcraft or wizardry going on, it is all legit. If we look over here, we can see this is my PlayStation plugged in on the monitor that I normally play games on. And then if we pan the camera down, we can see that on my desk here, I've got my iPhone. Yes, this is kind of my background. Claire actually said to this herself when I didn't have my phone with me. Ignoring the background though, if we take a look at this app, PS4 Remote Play, this is literally all you need with a PlayStation that's on a 6.5 firmware, which has just come out, so you probably have it anyway. If you click on this, and as long as you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection, I'm unsure if you have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi that your PlayStation's on, or if you can be anywhere in the world, as long as it's a stable Wi-Fi connection. I'm just in my home, so I'm just using the same Wi-Fi at the internet connection that my PS4 is on. But if I go ahead and click start, it's gonna start the process, as you can see on screen here. This is going to connect remotely to my PlayStation, and there we have it. As simple as that, this is my PlayStation on my iPhone. Now in vertical mode, you can see all of the buttons on the PlayStation controller normally, but you can go ahead and turn it sideways and then you've got the all the other buttons that you'd normally have anyway and as you can see it works pretty much instantly. Now just to show you the kind of like speeds and the, the level of connection that you get to your PlayStation on your iPhone, I'm gonna line them up side by side and if I go right, left, I mean it's almost instant. It's crazy how good it is. I believe the technology all comes through streaming, so essentially it's streaming your PlayStation to your phone, and then any input you give on your phone is being fed back to the PlayStation almost instantaneously. I do have a good internet speed, I have about 200 up, 200 down, so I've got really good connection to make this work properly. Now, a lot of you guys may be sat there thinking, well, if you've got your PlayStation right next to you, why do you ever do this? It is a fair question, and you can play Fortnite on the mobile app anyway. However, this is a new PlayStation, as you know, Fortnite broke my other one not too long ago. The three main games I've got is Fortnite, I've got Apex, and I've got Black Ops 4. Now, Fortnite has its own mobile version, Apex and Black Ops definitely do not. So I'm gonna try and jump into a game and try and get a kill using my phone on both Black Ops, Apex, and finally Fortnite, bearing in mind that the, the games think I'm just playing on my console, but I'm actually gonna be using a touchscreen iPhone to try and take other people down using controllers. Maybe a really silly idea, but it's just gonna give you a good example of how good and how well it actually runs in all different games, and hopefully I can complete this challenge of one kill on three games using my iPhone on a PlayStation. Just a reminder, if you are new around here, hit subscribe for daily Fortnite videos. Make sure you turn that notification bell on as well to never miss anything. If you're excited for this challenge, do give it a big fat thumbs up. I actually think it's gonna be quite tough. This is definitely gonna be a test to see just how good this new system actually works. And without further ado, let's kick off with Apex. So some other crazy features is that you can actually get the PlayStation sound. If you go on your iPhone and turn the volume up, you get the sound from the iPhone just like normal speakers, which is firstly insane. Secondly, there's actually a microphone in the bottom left. So if I tap that, allow that it to use a microphone, you literally have in the palm of your hands, not only the audio, the visuals, but also the microphone on an iPhone for a PlayStation 4. It makes no sense, but it works. The other question you may have is, can you use your actual official PlayStation controller to link up to the iPhone to use that? That would just be ridiculous. I mean, you'd be carrying around your PlayStation in your pocket if you could do that essentially. Unfortunately at the moment with iOS devices you can't get a PlayStation controller to naturally sync up and work as a Bluetooth controller on iOS devices. You've seen me link it up and connect it to Android when I did a test with all of the controller support that came out for Fortnite but at the moment it doesn't work. If PlayStation and Apple somehow can make that work it would be absolutely ridiculous. But for the moment 
we're just gonna have to stick to using my hands and using the on-screen controls. I apologize in advance to whoever my team ends up being. Here we go. Wish me luck. There's definitely a little bit of latency as I move around. This streaming's made really for like single player games. Not quite precision accurate multiplayer games, but we're out here setting a challenge. Remember my challenge is literally just one kill. That's all I want, a kill. Oh, I did some damage. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. I actually even said nice kill. Oh my gosh. There you go. First game, first attempt. We actually managed to take someone down. It ain't easy. I would never recommend playing like this, but we did it. Okay, not surprisingly, me and my team didn't do too well, but we did complete the challenge in the first game. Let's jump into now Black Ops 4 and give that a go. This is probably the, 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 the peak of quick reactions fast shooting and taking people down efficiently. So another hard one for sure. So I actually have fairly decent stats in Black Ops multiplayer. I've got about a 3.2 KD. That's about to drop. I just want to show you how good the streaming looks. Look at that. This is a 1080p stream straight to the phone. I mean, it looks insane on my phone. I've gone for hardcore free fall because I literally need to land like a shot. <laughs> Oh, he had no idea. I was literally just stood in the corner. Oh. This is destroying my KD. <laughs> it does actually have L3 and R3 as well. If you double tap and then move, you can sprint. Okay, I'm trying to get more than one kill because I think I can do it. But I am literally the biggest bot the game has ever seen. Yeah, it's, it's just not happening. It's just not happening. Apex somehow completed. Black Ops somehow completed. This is the most pointless one ever, but Fortnite, despite the fact I literally could boot up the mobile app, I'm gonna try. I think this one's actually gonna be the hardest. You know what, I haven't played two of the three games. But the technology is crazy, but the issue here is it's all controls. Touchscreen controls just don't work well, A, because, I mean, a controller's always gonna be better, and B, it's a latency. I'm not sure how, without just getting more insane internet, you cut down on the latency input of you, you know, pressing a move Moving on here and then it actually doing it in game but that's the biggest thing holding it back right now if they can get around that you literally have a portable console in your pocket and that is just crazy now, if you haven't seen the fortnite store is insane at the moment we not only have brand new aztec themed skins the mesmer skin and also the sunbird skin is insane they've even brought back the shogun skin shout out to everyone on screen here using code alia in the fortnite item store if you guys do it you could get a shout out make sure you're doing it to support your favorite creator Whenever you get anything in the store, especially when it's as good as this. So I'm currently ranked 43. I've been grinding. I've been playing so much. I didn't get home from a night out last night until 5 a.m. And when I got up today, my first game of Fortnite, your boy won. And I'm just loving season eight, honestly. So we're gonna boot up a game. We're gonna give this a go. Somehow the other two, we've actually managed to do quite a smoothie. So this is the last one. God, the game looks, it just looks crazy just seeing the game on your iPhone screen. The fact I'm controlling it, I, I, it's just blown my mind. All right, let's get ourselves a weapon and let's try and find someone that's somehow more of a bot than we are using our iPhone to play. Cheeky little lonely lodge landing, which I've completely missed because I can't aim at all. It's so weird. I keep on wanting to touch the buttons, but I got to remember I have to use the on-screen controls. We've already got two weapons. This ain't bad. And I could cheap out a little bit here and just hope one of the enemies has jumped off the bus. Wait, is there two buses? No, I, ca I can't even cheat it. There's two buses because we're playing Team Rumble. So I just gotta go and find someone legit. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this so far. Is it useful? Is it anything you'd ever use? Does it help you if you're at home and maybe there's only one TV and it would be nice to play some games whenever you want on your phone? All right, should I try and build something? I don't have any mats. <laughs> Mate, look at this. Look at this claw action right here to get my building on. I'm a natural. Thank goodness I have auto sprint on. That makes things so much easier. All right, I'm on the hunt. I honestly think the only way I can do this is if I find someone that's just standing still for a second. Oh, look at that ring. It's literally dead on the volcano. <laughs> oh, got someone. Chill, chill, chill. Leave me alone. Bro, you're getting the biggest bot. You don't need to build against me. I'm not that good. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I literally had someone standing still. Why did he have to come and land on me? Okay, okay, this is, this is a chance. If he's standing still looting. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Honestly thought Team Rumble people would give me a little bit more of a chance. Actually doesn't help my team's getting slaughtered 10 to 29. Oh, I dealt a little bit of damage. That's all though. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, I, I assisted. It, it's technically not a kill, but I assisted. Oh, this guy has no idea. This is my chance. This is actually my chance. Come on. Oh my god. No. No. No! Don't you dare blow me up. This is infuriating to play. So it must be even worse to watch. So close. Come on. about to switch to control on clap these kids, I swear down. You get out of here, kids! No, it's actually so weird going back to using a controller now. My brain is so messed up. Hey, remember me, Black Links? Avenge! Revenge, that's the right word, Ali. Remember me? Revenge! Remember me? Revenge! Remember me, Default? Revenge! Revenge! Revenge is sweet! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, as much fun as that was, and as cool as the technology is, it, it's definitely not there for multiplayer games. I mean, if it's more like puzzle single player games, it kind of works. The biggest issue is definitely the latency and the issue with the controls. If they can somehow get PlayStation controls to link up with your iPhone device, and also cut down that latency and delay, it's insane. At the moment, it's a little bit gimmicky. It was fun, and I can't actually believe we managed to get kills in two out of the three games. If I hadn't have rage quit in Fortnite and switched to the controller, I reckon I may have been able to get one. There we have it, guys. Let me know what you think of this down below. I'll be back to using an actual controller in Fortnite tomorrow. Do not worry. If you have enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.